I sprayed too much setting spray and I have to dry it now. <laughs> Hey everybody! So for today's video, it's gonna be a video that I've been wanting to film for a while. It's gonna be my go-to makeup look for any event that I may want to go to, like if I have like a family gathering or there's a wedding or just any special event like that. This is just like my go-to look. The lip is interchangeable. This is just a really nice color that I wear all the time. But if you want to see how to achieve this makeup look, by all means, just sit tight, grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a friend. Keep on watching. <laughs> so I've been doing this new thing where I fill in my eyebrows before I do anything else. It's actually pretty convenient. I don't know why I didn't do it before. I saw that Desi Perkins made a video about her eyebrow routine. Excuse me, I'm adjusting myself. And she said that if you do your eyebrows before the foundation, you have less chance of like your eyebrows slipping and sliding like your foundation. I'm like, that makes sense. Let's get started anyway. I already primed my face with the Becca Backlit Primer. That's like my jam. I haven't been using anything else. We're doing a full face today, guys. Mm, it's lit. So I'm taking my Smashbox color correcting stick in Look Less Tired Light and I'm going to be putting that in my dark circles and any hyper pigmentation I may have or dark spots because I pick at everything. <laughs> then using my ring finger, which is the gentlest finger, I'm going to blend everything out real nice so that we already have some coverage. I've been on a real full coverage uh, binge, what's it called? Uh, I don't know, I've just been having a full coverage moment. So I'm gonna be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation and I'm gonna be mixing in a drop of argan oil because this foundation is matte as hell. So I like to mix it in to give my foundation a little bit more fluidity and it'll look real cool. After I've mixed the two, I will like to focus the foundation in the center of my face because that's where people tend to have more discoloration and then as I just continue applying the foundation, I just start going farther out. I'm going to take my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush and I'm just going to buff the foundation all over my face until it is a smooth finish and I look like a Barbie doll because this foundation is wild. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Full Coverage HD what is it? Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And this is the shade Y23, which can be a little light, but I'm using it primarily to highlight my face so I can look really bright and awake and cute. I'm gonna squeeze some of the back of my hand and then I'm gonna be using a very small concealer brush. This is from Coastal Scents. They don't have like any numbers or any names on them. And I'm just gonna do the usual. I'm gonna conceal my under eye with a V shape because not only are you concealing your under eye circles, you also wanna bring luminosity to the face. So now I got my forehead, bridges and nose, under eyes, cupid's bow, and chin area all highlighted. I'm going to be using that same Zoeva 102 brush just to blend this whole thing out. And since there's a little bit of foundation left on this, if the concealer's too bright, this will kind of like calm it down. So that's pretty cool. So real easy peasy. We're just going to be blending everything out until it's nice and smooth. Now that I got my foundation and concealer in, I'm going to be using my RCMA No Color Powder and this little poofy poof also from Sephora. And I'm gonna be baking under my eyes as well as my smile lines because I'm expressive and excited about everything all the time. I'm gonna be bringing out my bake all the way out into my temple so that I can have that crisp line to do eyeshadows with. It's really helpful to have that if you don't wanna use tape like me. Now at this point, I'm usually doing my eyebrows while my baking is baking, but since I did my eyebrows before I did my whole face, now I'm gonna be doing my eyeballs. So first I'm gonna be priming them with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot switching it up from my painterly paint pot because soft ochre she needs a little love you know you gotta you gotta love all of your makeup products equally so i'm taking my ring finger and applying that all over the eyelid to prime our lids as well as neutralize any discoloration we might have in our eyelids to set the primer i'm going to be using just any old nude eyeshadow color so that we can blend our colors much easier. Now we're gonna start with the eye look and I'm gonna be going in with my Natasha Denona 28 color eyeshadow palette and 100% you do not need this palette to complete this look. Any colors that are similar will work just fine, I promise. This is just what I use, I have it. It was a pretty penny, I'm gonna use it. I'm first gonna be going in with this very, very light pink color right here and I'm gonna put that all the way from the crease to the brow bone. Because I have hooded eyes, what you wanna do is you wanna look straight ahead with a relaxed face. I have a tendency to raise my eyebrows when I do this. I don't know why, so I gotta like really remind myself to relax my face. Look straight ahead in the mirror, relax your face, and then you're just gonna put it in the crease. You want to look straight ahead with a relaxed face when applying your eyeshadow with your eyes open, might I add, because you'll know exactly where your eyeshadow is going to be and how it's going to look when your eyes are open. 
Next, I'm going to be going in with this matte Dusty Rose shade, and a great dupe for this is Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M200 brush, which is a very lovely fluffy brush, but it's more precise and longer than the MAC 224, which is what I like to use for my like hooded eye situation. Just place it right into the crease. Since this color is a lot darker than the light pink that we laid down before, you want to be wary of not doing this half moon shape with your eyeshadow because if you bring the color down here where your hood is it's going to just accentuate the hooded eye so you just want to go straight out like this so that pulling the color outward instead of down will give you an illusion of a lifted eye which is what you want with hooded eyes now i'm going to be jumping into my anastasia artist palette and i'm going to be using the color aubergine aubergine really hope that's how you say it and it's a very dark wonderful royal purple and i'm going to be taking my morphe m433 brush dipping it in there and we're going to use this to darken the outer v of the eye and to bring more dimension to the eye look straight ahead with a relaxed face this is especially true for the outer v colors with hooded eyes because if i raise my eyebrow and i put it in there and then lower my eyebrow like it's just gone it disappears so you gotta do the same technique for everything and then just place the color in the outer v i don't know if this is a rule in makeup but because i lift my eyebrow and i get that straight up line showing that i have no color there i of course have to you know fill that sucker in because you know i don't want to look uh crazy and you're gonna want to bring it into the crease just a touch so you can bring some depth back into the crease to get rid of any harsh edges. Just go back with the transition shades you used before and run it along the edges of any harsh lines that you may see. Now that we got our outer V and our crease super duper blended, I'm going to be going in with the color pink champagne from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's this absolutely... I always forget the brushes are in these palettes. <laughs> this is available in a single shadow format, but because I have like a bunch of ABH palettes, I just have it in the palette, so I'm just gonna use that. So for the ultimate color payoff, I'm just gonna dip it in my ring finger, dip my ring finger in the color, and I'm gonna place it on the bare area of the lid, and it's gonna bring a beautiful shimmer to our eyes and it's just gonna make our eyes pop you can make the shimmer as intense or as toned down as you want i want to glow today so i'm gonna do so much glitter <laughs> we're gonna be blending the shimmer into the outer v darkness in a little bit but we're just laying down the color for now I'm going in with that dark purple aubergine color from abh again i'm gonna be using that to just gently blend the dark purple into the glitter so that it does not look very harsh and just add a little bit more intensity to the outer v and i'm just very gently tapping that in now to highlight and to soften any more edges we may possibly have i'm just gonna be taking my mac 224 one more time with just a bright nude color it could be any nude color you want it could even be translucent powder it's always that one spot on my eye that just doesn't blend Got it. Now that we've been baking our under eyes for as long as Frank Ocean has been lying to us, I'm going to be taking my E48 Morphe brush to just brush off the bake. And you see how when I brought the bake out like this, we just have that crisp line in the outer V and it's just oh so satisfying. I'm going to be taking the shade Levitation from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And again, using my E48, I'm going to use that to bring even more brightness to my under eye area, as well as provide just a tad more coverage because I believe in full coverage. Now I'm going to be taking this middle contour shade from the same palette and I'm going to be using my good old, excuse me, Morphe White Zoeva 126 brush. It's my favorite brush for bronzing my face. It's just so fluffy and luxurious. I'm going to first go around my hairline and you know the drill. I'm going to use it to warm up my face as well as bring dimension back into my cheekbones and even contour my nose a little bit and just bring life back to my face. Now I'm going to be taking the darkest shade and I'm going to be applying that in, I don't know how to explain this very well, but I'm going to take the darkest one and I'm not going to put it covering the bronzer that I laid down. I'm going to be putting it a little bit halfway, not passing my eye area, just to make my contour real three-dimensional and look super, super carved out. I will, of course, be blending all of that out because it does look wacky right now, but just give it a second. Just, come on, we got this. Also applying that on top of the bronzer I did put on my jawline because I do want my jawline to cut someone. I'm going to be taking the productless brush and just going over it to soften everything because it does look a little crazy right now, but just look, see? Ooh, wow. I'm brushing it from front to back because I do not want the darker contour to just 
come into the lighter contour and just make it look muddy and gross. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the color Dusty Rose from ABH, and I'm going to be running that on my lower lash line pretty far down because we're going to be putting that dark purple on top of it, so we just want that nice gradient effect with the eyes, and I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. Any old pencil brush will do. You just gotta place it on the lower lash line relatively low, connect it a little bit to the outer V. There you go. But we're gonna be taking this dark purple color again on the same pencil brush and we're gonna apply it on the lower lash line, but we're not gonna apply it through the entire lower lash line because I do want this look to be sultry, but I don't want it to be like a smoky eye. So applying it on the outer third of the lower lash line, that's just gonna give us a nice darkness, but it won't overpower the look. And we're back. I used the Benefit Their Real Mascara because that's just an amazing mascara. Now we're just gonna finish off the rest of the face and then this video will be complete. So I haven't used one of my glow kits in like a hot minute, so I'm gonna go with that glow, see what happens. I've never used that one. I've been on the hunt for that one because as y'all know, that was sold out for 87 years. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M510 brush and it's my favorite highlighting brush. And I'm gonna be going in with the shade Bubbly. And I'm just gonna swirl it in there tap off the excess because pigmented and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones and then I'm probably gonna cry. I'm gonna be taking above the arch of the brow as usual to give myself a more unified glow. Take a bunch on that cupid's bow. I'm gonna take that same shade using my pinky finger just put that as an inner corner highlight because I've been getting too excited to finish my makeup and I forget to highlight my inner corner and I'm like why? Now, you guys already know the drill by now. My favorite blush ever of all time is Pamplemousse from the- Oh, sorry. Pamplemousse shade from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collection. So I'm just going to be taking my Morphe M105, just a simple little brush, dip it into Pamplemousse, and then we're just going to apply that right in between the highlight and the contour for just the- Oh, such a unified- cheek. Now because this look is like so neutral and natural, you can literally use any lip color that you want with this look, but my mom always wants me to wear 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics, so I'm gonna do that because she always tells me to wear it. It's my mom's favorite lipstick color on me, so I'm gonna do it. Now to set my face for a tsunami, we're gonna be using a cocktail of the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and the All Nighter Setting Spray from Irma Decay, so we're just gonna bathe in this. And that's my go-to makeup look for any event that I feel like going to. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more tutorials and vlogs and fun stuff like that, feel free to subscribe down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. I make these videos for you, so I need you to let me know if you like them. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your today, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!